In Chandler, Arizona, FBI agents Kate Maser and Reggie Wayne lead a raid on a suspected Mexican cartel safe house, where they discover dozens of decaying corpses and a booby trap that kills two officers. Following the raid, Kate's boss recommends her for a Department of Justice Special Joint Task Force overseen by Matt Graver to apprehend the Sonora Cartel Lieutenant Manuel Diaz. On a private jet to El Paso, Texas, Kate meets Matt's partner, the secret of Alejandro Gillick. Joined by U.S. Marshals, DEA agents, and a U.S. Army Delta Force unit, the team travels in force to Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, to extradite Guillermo Diaz, one of Diaz's top men and his brother. At the border crossing, the team preempts an ambush by swiftly killing many Mexican cartel gunmen. At a U.S. airbase, Alejandro tortures Guillermo, learning of a tunnel Diaz uses to smuggle drugs into the U.S. Kate begins to question the legality of the team's methods and wonders for whom Matt and Alejandro really work for. The team travels to an Arizona border patrol station to question detained illegal immigrants. Reggie and Kate demand to know Matt's plan, and he reveals that the objective is to disrupt Diaz's drug operations to such a degree that Diaz will be summoned back to Mexico by his boss, elusive Sonora cartel drug lord Fausto Alarcón, and by following Diaz they will find Alarcón. The team raids a bank used by Diaz's money launderers, disrupting his cash flow. At a bar, Reggie introduces Kate to Ted, a friend and local police officer. Kate and Ted go to her apartment, but as they become passionate, Kate realizes he also works for the cartel. In the ensuing struggle, Ted gains the upper hand and begins strangling Kate when Alejandro suddenly appears and subdues him. Alejandro and Matt reveal that they followed her as bait, suspecting that the cartel would send someone after her after she was seen by security cameras at the bank raid. Alejandro and Matt torture Ted into revealing the names of other officers working for Diaz. They soon learn that Diaz is being recalled to Mexico, but Kate argues they have no jurisdiction in Mexico. Matt condescendingly tells her that he was only using her. Her status as a U.S. law officer granted them legal permission to operate within the U.S. Reggie advises that he and Kate walk away, but she insists on joining the raid on the tunnel in order to find out more. The team kills all the men in the tunnel, and Alejandro reaches the other end of the tunnel where he kidnaps one of Diaz's drug mules, a corrupt Mexican police officer named Silvio. Kate arrives and attempts to arrest Alejandro, who shoots into her bulletproof vest before driving off with Silvio in his cruiser. Kate returns to the U.S. side of the tunnel where she confronts Matt. Matt explains that by disabling the Sonora Cartel, they are attempting to return to a time when a single cartel, Medellin, ran the drug trade. This would ultimately return order to the industry and thus reduce violence, and until Americans stop using cocaine, this is the best they can hope for. Alejandro, who worked for Medellin, was brought on to assassinate Alarcón. Matt explains to Kate that Alarcón had ordered the murder of Alejandro's wife and daughter, and that this is Alejandro's opportunity for revenge. In Mexico, Alejandro locates Diaz, and at gunpoint, forces him to continue on to Alarcón and kill Silvio. Reaching Alarcón's estate, Alejandro, with the help of U.S. surveillance technology, killed Diaz and all the guards. He finds the Alarcón family at their dinner table, accuses Alarcón of murdering his and many other families, and shoots his wife and both his sons before killing him. Alejandro appears in Kate's apartment where he forces her at gunpoint to sign a waiver legitimizing the operation. As he leaves, she aims her pistol at him as he makes eye contact with her, but she cannot bring herself to pull the trigger. In Ciudad Juarez, Silvio's widow watches her son's soccer game. The game is briefly interrupted by the sound of gunfire before continuing. 